Okay, we're on uh, lesson one. We're talking about uh, equal and equivalent. We're on expressions and equations. So we got number two, the A part here. <clears throat> Do 4x and 15 plus x have the same value when x is 5? Okay, so it's fairly simple. So we're going to treat these two expressions um, kind of like a formula, the same philosophy as a formula. We're going to write a formula down. The only difference is right now we've got the value of the variable and there's no diagram that we have to look at, okay? So <clears throat> I, I would suggest 100% that we do something similar in nature when we're answering these questions like this. All right, so we start out with this right here, 4x. Okay, now we know x is 5. So how we do that? We just substitute 4 and we understand that the value of x is 5. So we hopefully know that when two things are side by side, um, especially with the parentheses like that, that's a, another way that we show division in the sixth grade, okay? So we know that 4 times 5 is 20. So there's the value of 4x when x is 5. Now, this other instance right here, we've got 4, I'm sorry, we got 15 plus, we know x is 5 because it says x is 5. Basically means that it's 5 in both of the situations, okay? So we got 15 plus x is our kind of like our expression, formula, whatever you want to call it. So we're bringing our 15 down, plus down, and we're substituting the value of x for 5. So our new numerical expression, instead of algebraic expression, is 15 plus 5. And we do know that 15 plus 5 is 20. So we can easily see that the value of 4x when x is 5 is 20. We see the value of 15 plus x when x is 5 is 20 also. So the question is, do 4x and 15 plus x have the same value when x is 5? And the answer is yes, they do have the same value.